Welcome to this sub-module on climate change adaptation and mitigation. In this presentation, I'm going to briefly describe some of the services being trialled by the Copernicus Climate Change Service to help the water sector respond to climate change. So why is Copernicus needed in the water sector? The Copernicus Climate Change Service, or C3S, is operated by ECMWF and aims to provide the data and tools to help understand the impacts of climate change, to inform policy and decision making, and to ensure resilience to future climate change. Climate and the water cycle are closely linked. Changes in climate have the potential to alter the availability and seasonality of water resources and therefore pose a direct challenge to water management. This can in turn have consequences for other sectors such as agriculture, forestry, energy and health, which all rely on a stable water supply. Activities that depend on high water abstraction, such as agriculture, hydroelectricity and food production, will all be affected by changing flow regimes and reduced annual water availability. Water sector companies in Europe are already experiencing the effects of climate change and a plan is essential for the industry to grow and adapt to adequately serve the people and industries that rely on them. This is where C3S can come in to help. A number of proof of concept studies have been initiated by the C3S to test and demonstrate potential climate products and services that could be incorporated into a future operational service. I am going to describe one of two water-related projects which will operate until February 2018. It aims to demonstrate a value-added service that could be developed to provide data and guidance for clients in the water sector. It aims to bridge the gap between climate data providers, water managers and policy makers and aims to inform relevant water sector users about the impact of climate change datasets on their sector. The project web portal allows visualisation, inspection and download of European project data and we will explore this later in the presentation. Climate impact indicators are used to show the impact of climate change on environmental phenomena. Over 15 indicators and ECVs are accessible through this demonstrator project. These have been chosen based on their relevance and importance to the water sector and include temperature, precipitation and river flow. These indicators will be combined with climate scenarios and local data to create practical products for clients in the water sector. The web portal includes an interactive visualisation tool which allows you to plot climate indicators and future projections. This plot shows the mean precipitation from 1971 to 2000 alongside the predicted percentage change in precipitation in the 2020s. The project webpage also provides a number of case studies to demonstrate how the climate data sets can be used on a local scale. One of these focuses on the Asipos River Basin in central Greece. This is a significant industrial region where the metal industry uses local water sources for production and waste disposal. Water is provided from two reservoirs, the Evenos and Mornos reservoirs, which are also the main reservoirs to supply Athens with water, and wastewater is released into the Asipos River. Over the years, industrial activity has put significant pressure on the water demand and availability in the region, as well as the water quality of the Asipos River. It is likely that climate change will only increase these pressures in the future. The clients of this project are both the metal industry and the environment agencies. The metal industry needs to assess the future water-related risks under climate change to ensure that the current water supply strategy and waste treatment facility are sustainable in the future. On the other hand, the Secretariat for Water is interested to assess the climate change impacts on water quality in order to protect this important resource. In order to assess the impact of climate change on water demand and availability, C3S datasets were acquired for a number of hydrological parameters such as seasonal river flow characteristics. Precipitation data is needed to assess future discharge and temperature data is needed to consider reservoir loss due to evaporation. Population data is needed to assess the future water demands on this region. This data was combined with local data and used to model the annual water budgets for the Evernos and Mornos reservoirs for different climate scenarios. Seasonal river flow indicators predict a 5-7% to decrease in available water through discharge in the next 30 years. However, preliminary results indicate that the system will still satisfy future water needs. 
In terms of water quality, C3S datasets and local data were combined to assess pollution loads from the industrial activity in the Asapos Basin. Three different industrial growth scenarios and 11 climate scenarios were modelled. Overall, the Asapos River discharge is not expected to change drastically. Analysis is ongoing to model future pollutant levels, but in general, future water quality depends on the future evolution of the industry in the region. In summary, it is important to assess climate change impacts on water resources in order to ensure business and environmental sustainability in the future. It is important to balance the interests of the environment and the industrial sector. Interaction with clients has revealed that they are sometimes not entirely aware of potential climate-related risks and that existing tools are not necessarily sufficient for local scale analysis. For this reason, this C3S proof of concept project provides climate data, climate impact indicators and future climate projections in an easily accessible format. It demonstrates a potential service that could be developed to bring climate experts and stakeholders together to discuss how the challenges of climate change can be tackled in the future. Thank you for watching this presentation on C3S and the water sector.